Uh, Sanya sent us an email saying, while I'm still in the state of ihram for Hajj, is it permissible for me to have a bath, to change clothes, and to calm my hair? Or do I have to be in the same dress till the Hajj is complete? In India and Pakistan, people say we must be in the ihram throughout the Hajj and not take a shower and not to calm hair, etc. First of all, do not follow the culture when it comes to religion. Religion is not taken from the elders or from what the people say. Religion is taken only from the authentic sources of the Quran and of the Sunnah. Which means that this eliminates the possibility of people manipulating you or claiming things that are not from the religion. And this is one of the biggest problems that the Muslims face. They feel confused. People toss them right and left like children playing with a football. And they don't know what to believe and who to follow. There is the Quran and the Sunnah that will never change, that are preserved until the day of judgment. You follow them, you are on solid grounds. So what the people say to you, that you do not change your ihram, you do not take a bath, you don't comb your hair, all of this is baseless. Where is the evidence that prevents it? Does Islam tell us to stink and to smell? A'udhu Billah. What is prohibited for a person in the state of ihram is to apply perfume. But the Prophet himself, alayhi salam, took a ghusl before commencing to the Kaaba to do his tawaf and sa'i. So cleaning yourself, washing and having a, a shower or a bath while in the state of ihram is totally permissible and recommended. Even if you take two or three showers a day, no problem. But don't apply perfume, no deodorants, nothing. Changing your garments of ihram or your dress is totally legit. You can do that once, twice, or any number of times during the day or during your journey without any problem. Combing your hair is also permissible even if some hair would fall because there's no prevention of that in the Quran or in the Sunnah. What is prohibited is to shave your hair. And combing it is not shaving it. Therefore, Sanya, there is nothing wrong in all of that, insha'Allah.